Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a resin trinket dish. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be using some products from Laura's Art Corner. You can get all the pigments that I'm using and the glass gold glitter. Um, this glitter is very heavy, so when you add it to clear resin, it's going to sink to the bottom, um, which is what I did here. So I like to give it a good mix, so it's all mixed into the resin before I pour it. Um, and I reuse my mixing cups. I know this looks like I had some other glitter in there, but that is from a previous pour. I just let my mixing cups sit upright on my tabletop let the resin cure and use it the next time that I'm going to pour. It's a great way to reduce waste and you're good to use it for your future pouring sessions. So I'm just going in with that fairy dust gold glass glitter, pouring it right into the center of this mold and it's going to kind of go down and line the petals um, because of the way the mold is shaped. It's a flower shape. This glass glitter will give you some really cool line details on the petals naturally just from the shape of the mold and my friend actually sells this mold on her website I'll link it down below along with my coupon code um, but she is going to be going on maternity leave so it's only going to be available for a few more weeks um, and then she's going to open her shop back up after the baby's born so depending on when you see this video um, you may or may not be able to get this mold but she definitely will be opening back up as soon as the baby's born just wanted to let you guys know in case you see this video and you want to buy the mold and it's not available um, just be patient and she'll be opening back up soon and to fill up my mold I'm going to be doing a dirty pour so I just took this cup here dropped in some violet interference mica powder mixed with clear resin and then i did a layer of clear resin some luscious plum epoxy paste a little bit more clear and now i'm going in with a little bit more violet interference mica powder and to the luscious plum epoxy paste i added a few drops of alcohol ink just to kind of build up the purple color and i'm just going to pour that right on top of that glass glitter i didn't quite have enough to fill up my mold and i did have a little bit of purple left inside my cup so i decided to add a little bit more clear and i wanted to kind of pick up what was left on the bottom of this cup and then poured the clear into my mold to fill it all the way to the top super easy and fun technique i'm going to take my little stir stick kind of blend the pigments together and that's really it um, i did have a few air bubbles show up on the back of this piece i should have babysat it a little bit better and checked on it about 30 minutes after i poured to pop these three little air bubbles right there but lesson learned um, sometimes you know if i'm in a hurry i just pour and hit it with my heat gun to pop bubbles or spray it with some 91% isopropyl alcohol to pop bubbles and then after that more bubbles will show up so when you guys pour um, I would just kind of let your project sit for about 30 minutes after you pour and check it again for bubbles but here's how it turned out super gorgeous I love 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 this one and you can see that glass glitter how it kind of sunk down and lined the petals all on its own gives it a really nice organic look let me know what you think i hope you guys give this a try i'll link all the materials i use down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that i have so if you guys want to get any of these products to try you'll get a little bit of extra savings and i did use the liquid diamonds for today's project it's one of my favorites and it works great for projects like this Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are all doing wonderful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naptime Creations, and I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye, guys.